Yo, 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 what's happening everyone? Welcome back to another day in the life of Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Super excited about this one because this is a highly requested video from you and we are giving it to you and it's gonna be my diet. Yes, my diet. Now, I've actually got two types of diets that I do. I've got an in-camp diet and I've got an out-of-camp diet and of course, we're gonna be going over the out-of-camp diet. I'll be doing the other one when I'm in camp and hopefully, keeping my fingers crossed, that will be pretty soon. MSG, MSG, Madison Square Garden, Madison Square Garden. Been working on my singing as well, but anyway, Tony cut that crap out. Um, Yes, so we're gonna be going over my out of camp diet. Now this is something that, uh, that helps me, you know, get through the day, training, teaching classes, karate camps, so it's nothing nothing too crazy. I was doing the intermittent fasting, which is great, it's like the thing now, everybody's doing it, and it worked for me, but I wanted to kind of mix things up and do something a little different because I freaking love to eat. I like to do this diet because it helps me maintain my weight in between fights, because if you're not careful, you could end up for me, somebody that fights in the 170 division, be over 200 pounds, I struggle cutting you know, from 200 pounds. So I like to keep my weight fairly low. So I have my strength and conditioning coach, my man Josh, who you guys have probably seen in some of my other videos. He wrote me up this diet and I love it. Like I said, this is something that works for me. Everybody's body is different. This is something that I've been doing my entire life, the training, and the dieting, so this works for me. I hope it works for you. It may not, everybody's bo body is different, but I hope it does. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I look tired because it's 7.45 a.m. And I'm not a morning person. There you go, not a morning person. But I do get up to eat my first meal. And what I have here, I've got two hard boiled eggs, two whole grain wheat toast with, I like to put peanut butter on it. You can switch it up and maybe do like a guacamole spread. But since my weight is kind of on point right now, I'm just putting some peanut butter on it, it's delicious. And an orange and also a glass of skim milk, y'all. Okay, so I got the two eggs, which is gonna be a good source of protein, a delish. The fruit is gonna be a good source of natural sugars. And the toast is gonna be good for, you know, good energy, it's gonna help kick my day off. I'm gonna be eating up to 2400 calories today and everything that i eat today is going to be delicious it's nothing nasty nothing really bland let's grub i like to start with the oranges all right guys it's 9 30. i had my first meal at 7 45 this morning i'm eating again at 9 30 and i'm eating six meals a day not every meal is really big so this is considered a meal so an apple is good for you it's good fiber i'm eating kind of frequently so the frequency of your eating will will up your metabolism which will make you get leaner and it will also give you energy for training and it tastes delicious and it's sweet so meal number two okay so like i said before my schedule is pretty crazy, so this is a perfect uh, diet for those of you guys that are on the go. And what I've made for my third meal of the day, something very simple, it is a, and I love it, it's my favorite, a good old fashioned ban banana and peanut butter sandwich on a whole grain, folks. It's gotta be whole grain. Also has some clusters of, of grapes in there as well. Now the carbohydrates and stuff that, that I'm that I'm eating is gonna help when I'm training throughout the day because I'm I, I go nonstop during the day. Teaching classes is basically like a workout for four hours straight. And then I train on top of that. So I'm not bulking guys. I'm not get I'm not my goal is not to get bigger. The goal is to keep my weight down so that way it makes my cut to 170 a little bit easier. At the same time, it's satisfying. It's nothing really bland. I'm not eating bland chicken all the time. Even the chicken that I'm having today tastes phenomenal. Nothing like eating a good old fashioned peanut butter and banana sandwich. All right guys, as you can tell, I'm dressed. I'm getting ready to go right from karate camp, right into teaching classes. So what I do here is kind of a my fourth meal of the day slash snack, I guess you could say. I'll do a handful of blueberries and a handful of blackberries. These things are rich in anti antioxidants and it's gonna give me that good boost of energy when I get out there and teach classes. Going from one thing right into the next, I need that energy, time to grub up. All right guys, meal number five. I found a break right in between classes to come and do this because my, my schedule is always crazy, as you know. So what I have here, the fifth meal of the day, 
I have a six ounces of chicken in here, which is great for protein. You're breaking down the muscles to build them back up. And I got a little salad here with a, with a, a light vinaigrette. I like to put some feta cheese in there as well. It kind of spices it up a little bit. Now the chicken that I do, it's not a plain chicken. I like to have my stuff flavorful. So what I do is I'll get like six chicken breasts, put it in the crock pot for like uh, eight hours on low. And I'll actually take a knife and a fork and I'll cut the, the six chicken breasts up, right? In the little small pieces. And then I'll get, this is what I do. I'll get zesty Italian dressing and I'll pour a whole thing of zesty Italian dressing in there and mix it all up and that's what I use throughout the week for my chicken. So it's just something simple, boys and girls. It is easy, it's simple, it works for me. I'll be training tonight also. Like I said, I like this because it keeps, it keeps everything fresh. The stuff that I'm eating is good. It keeps my energy up, you know what I'm saying? So, second to last meal right here. Mm. Here comes my protein shake. What's up, baby? Last meal of the day. Right here, baby. Check that out. Check, check this out. G Fuel. Haha, <laughs> it's not G Fuel, but it's their bottle. Uh, this is my sixth meal. This protein shake is it. So this is considered a meal. This, this is good to rebuild the muscles that I broke down today during strength and conditioning thanks to this guy. What's up, baby? <laughs> um, I'm only training once a day, so I'm not in full camp. Like I said before, I have an in-camp diet and an out-camp diet. Now that I'm, it's summertime, we got karate camps, I'm super busy. So I'm only training once a day, but I'm still moving all day long. I'm not, it's like I'm not sitting behind a desk. I'm, I'm up, I'm moving, I'm playing with kids, smoking kids with dodgeballs. So this is what this diet's geared for. Once I get into camp, that's definitely gonna change. And if you got a hectic day like mine, this, this actually makes it simple. So this is it, so six meals a day. Um, that's gonna keep that metabolism up. It's gonna help you burn that fat off pretty easier and keep those energy levels up. Makes training a little bit easier, I think, too, because you're not sitting on you know, a big meal before you work out. Uh, so try it out and play with it a little bit. Like today with my, like my chicken, you could do fish. Every other day, like I'll do a steak and a baked potato instead of a salad. Um, so play around with it, try it out. Uh, appreciate you guys checking it out. And if you liked it, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below or hit me up on social media. Wonder Boy MMA on Twitter, on Instagram. Let me know if it's working for you, but you got to stay consistent with it. Got to stay consistent. And you know what? Once that, once that body fat starts getting down to a weight you really want to, you want it at, then you can start throwing in maybe like a pizza here and there on the weekend or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's it, guys. Hope you liked it. Check it out. Hit that subscribe button if you uh, you know what, just hit the subscribe button. That's all you gotta do. Don't even think about it. Just hit that subscribe button, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. Peace.